Russia condemned Ukraine and the U.S. for orchestrating a heinous attack on the Zaporizhian nuclear power plant. The assault involving kamikaze drones injured eight workers, including one critically as they repaired damage from a prior strike. Despite International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, warnings, the attacks persist, threatening a major environmental disaster. Russia criticized Western allies for failing to curb Ukraine's aggression, mm -hmm. highlighting the urgent need to safeguard Europe's largest nuclear plant from reckless provocations. Welcome to TFI Global, the antidote to mass delusion. In a shocking display of recklessness, Ukraine, backed by its ever-supportive ally, the United States, launched a brazen assault on the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant substation. This heinous attack carried out with three kamikaze drones targeting the Raduga facility in Enegodar left eight employees injured with one in serious condition. These workers were valiantly attempting to repair damage from an earlier Ukrainian strike, only to find themselves victims of yet another senseless act of aggression. Two weeks prior, the IAEA had already confirmed an attack on the Raduga substation, highlighting the difficult situation. Adding to the chaos, a separate strike hit the Luch facility, further disrupting the region. While neither Raduga nor Luch is critical to the nuclear plant's core operations, maintaining power supplies to secondary facilities is indispensable. The repeated damage to these substations only destabilizes the power grid, underscoring the recklessness of Ukraine's military tactics. The IAEA has refrained from directly attributing these attacks, but its chief, Rafael Grossi, has strongly condemned the use of drones in the vicinity of the nuclear plant. Grossi stressed that such actions are completely unacceptable and contravene established safety principles. Yet, the Ukrainian artillery strikes continue unabated even destroying an automatic radiation monitoring post near the nuclear site last week. This persistent barrage not only endangers the immediate area, but also poses a significant risk of a catastrophic environmental disaster. Enegodar, located in the Zaporizhia region, which joined Russia during a 2022 referendum, is under Russian administration, though Kiev stubbornly claims sovereignty over it. The Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is operated by Russian personnel, further complicating the region's control dynamics. Despite these complexities, Moscow has been unequivocal in its criticism of the United States and its allies for failing to pressure Ukraine to halt its military provocations. The lack of decisive action from the international community only emboldens Kiev's reckless behavior, escalating the conflict and inching closer to disaster. The ongoing attacks on the nuclear facility highlight a blatant disregard for safety and stability. The IAEA has repeatedly voiced serious concerns about the safety of the nuclear plant and its surrounding areas. Grossi's call for an immediate cessation of these attacks has gone unheeded, revealing a troubling apathy towards the potential consequences. The increasing frequency of drone strikes and artillery attacks on and near the plant is alarming posing a growing risk to its operational stability and safety. The Reduga and Luch facilities, while not central to plant core functions, are vital for maintaining the power supply to secondary systems. The continuous targeting of these substations disrupts the delicate balance necessary for the safe operation of the nuclear facility. This calculated sabotage by Ukraine with tacit approval from its Western backers underscores a dangerous game of geopolitical brinkmanship. Moscow's criticism of the U.S. and its allies for their inaction is not unfounded. The international community's failure to curb Ukraine's aggression has only fueled further instability. The potential for a major environmental catastrophe looms large, with implications that could extend far beyond the immediate region. The recklessness displayed by Kiev under the guise of false sovereignty claims threatens not only local stability, but also global security. The situation demands urgent attention and action. The international community must recognize the gravity of the threat posed by these ongoing attacks and take decisive steps to prevent further escalation. Safety and security of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant cannot be compromised. All parties involved must prioritize diplomacy and restrain over aggression and recklessness. In conclusion, the brazen attacks on the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant's substations by Ukraine with the implicit support of the U.S. 
highlights the perilous disregard for safety and stability. The international community must act decisively to halt this dangerous escalation and ensure the security of Europe's largest nuclear facility.